Amorphous teaching. It centers with making adjustments. We have observation, feedback, what we and others perceive, and surrogates to take a look at our teaching styles. We adjust our teaching styles through student observations and feedback. Also noting classroom attendance, expand and contract can provide a good surrogate for how well we're doing. A couple years ago, I interviewed Bridge Cruise agent Jerry Fox, who gave a really good tip. He said, don't fixate on the knowledgeable or energetic advanced players when they want to come up after class, but rather keep your eyes on the quiet, average students as they sneak out the door after a class. In other words, look for the cues on the class in general, not just those that want to get our attention. Leading indicators are often key clues. Sam Walton, for instance, used to employ happiness over customer satisfaction to determine the quality of his company's service to his customers. Astute bridge players are very aware of opponents' tells. So show true grit with your students. Grit, that's generosity, respect, integrity, and trust. Generosity, go above and beyond to give them yourself and a little extra value. Respect, listen to what they want, their needs, what they have to say, and their reality. Treat them like they are your family. Be considerate for their feelings and egos. Integrity, let them know what you expect. In other words, be consistent, act ethically, and honest. And of course, trust, be punctual, keep your word, be their wingman. So to recap storytelling with drama, what does this all mean to you, you may ask? Well, I'm not exactly sure, because we'll each have different opinions and have different takeaways from this. But this much we know. Continue your bread and butter best practices with real world instructional design. Just be careful to avoid the trap of letting your wonderful analytical left brain take total control of your lessons and classes. Bridge students play the game more for emotional reasons. We don't have that many Vulcans like Star Trek Spock in our audience. Adding too much left brain logic, well, that'll take all the oxygen just right out of the air for the students. Second, incorporate dramatic story elements in your classes. You don't have to compete with Eddie Cantor, Barbara Seagram, and major emotion pictures, yet you can generate emotional energy, enthusiasm, and engaging content that's both entertaining and enlightening. After all, for many in our audience, Bridge is their final frontier. So go far, far beyond the simple bullet point presentations. Consider the WIFM. That was the what's in it for me. Have a POV. That's the point of view. Find your voice and show your personality. Remember, tell me the story in 60 minutes. And at times, try to be playful and interact with the audience. After all, it is their class. Avoid monotony. Change something every 30 seconds, maybe the pace, the rhythm, the content, or the mood, and give students a chance to experiment and become heroes themselves. When students get out in their real world at the table, we want them to be bulldogs, not lapdogs. Students really do want to go far beyond whacking the balls at the driving range and simply tossing cards to hurry on to the next deal. Well, most anyway. You are their Eric Kokish. With deliberate practice, you can advance their game or at least have them enjoying their journey. And finally, if Sesame Street can make it fun for kids to count to four, so can you. So, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Good night and good luck.